individual. This basically relates to the fundamental democratic right of an adult choosing their own partner. It is also related to understanding the different aspects of the choice. It could be across caste, it could be across gender, it could be across religion. And therefore, an adult choice as to who is to be your partner or how you live your life and with whom you live your life is very much embedded in any democratic society. And it is that orthodoxy and conservatism which is now asserting itself. And I believe it is only possible to do so because these people are backed by political parties. What you have here, the PMK, you have the DMK, you have the AIDMK, they talk about Dravidian politics and they've compromised every single aspect of it by bringing caste as the deciding factor. Therefore, women's autonomy goes, the issue of caste, the issue of the whole caste system gets new life because you get mobilizations based on caste, you get people who are so committed to so-called caste purity that Ambedkar's constitution and the principles he fought were thrown out of the window. So I believe this is linked to democracy. I think you require a political environment which is enabling for individuals to make their own choices. And that is why we always hold that politics affects every individual life. When people say, Are, I don't want to have anything to do with politics, they're so wrong. Because the person you're a friend with in the workplace, the person that you befriend in college or school, and the way that conservative forces react to that, that is politics. Because those conservative forces are rooted and are getting empowered by political parties who don't want a simple thing like a law. Why should there not be a law, a standalone law, to outlaw so-called honor killings, which are based on caste or religion or whatever you think is the community's honor? And I believe that the response of major political parties, whether it's the BJP, the Congress, or the parties in Tamil Nadu, why are they not supportive of this law? On the contrary, why are they against this law? Precisely because they base themselves on a very narrow reading of political interests, which is linked to the so-called caste base, which they believe they have to protect. And this is where the individual's choice, which is enshrined in our constitution, gets uh, completely subverted. So the issue of a political environment the issue of a legal environment, and the issue also of social mobilization. So I think if young people come together and assert their rights, I think we can certainly overcome it.